Hey, I'm Clint Settle. I um, been on the vestry for three years. I'm about to roll off uh, next month, and I've been at the Advent for about ten years now. Uh, Rogers Settle is my wife, and uh, we have two uh, beautiful little three-year-old boys uh, that many of you may have seen, but aren't seeing here recently, of course. But I've been grateful to be a part of the Advent over these years. I feel like it was a place that I could make an impact. And I just wanted to share, you know, a bit of encouragement today with everyone uh, as a member of the vestry, uh, just to tell everyone that we've been experiencing in this time with this disconnect that we've been dealing with is loneliness. Um, loneliness is devastating. So, so many people are, are, are having their own challenges and dealing with these things in different ways. I'm dealing with challenges in my life. I lost my father this past summer and it's been one of the hardest things that I've dealt with. But loneliness is something that you want to try to run from, right? But I want to talk a little bit about solitude. Solitude with God. Solitude is something that you run to. And there were many occasions in the gospel that Jesus went away from the crowds and went to the mountains and prayed and sometimes prayed all night. Um, even after feeding the 5,000, uh, he sent the disciples one way and then he went and stayed on the land and prayed to, to his father. He continually reconnected with the Father to recharge that light, if you will. So I would encourage you as much as you uh, seek to stay connected, stay connected to the Father, abide in the vine, and recharge that light you know, in many ways, the enemy says that we are alone, that we are lonely, but our faith is based on our relationship with God. Make that connection with another parishioner. Make that connection with a friend who might be lonely or is experiencing loneliness and tell, and tell them the truth. Tell them that they're not alone and remind them of who they are in Christ. And we have to make extra effort to stay connected now, more effort than we ever have. So one of the you know, one of the things that we could do, you know, is make it a point to call that parishioner, that friend, and make that connection uh, as a parishioner at the Advent. 